is but the trauma that unfurls in generations. Let me ask you all this. Don't act like you know anything about a struggle. Don't act like you know what it's like to be even troubled. Maybe once in a while you'll pop a few pills and you relieve the stress of making a cool billion, selling mortgages that have put children in more, killing mortgages that have put children in orphanages. Because mom and dad, guess what? They couldn't pay and they jumped off of a bridge. But you ain't got time to worry about the effects. You ain't got time to worry about all those checks bouncing. Because mom and dad, they work minimum wage. Dad, he drove a truck. And guess what? My mom, she sat at a parking gate. Now that they're gone, you'll move on to the kids. Make sure that one day they'll do like mom and dad kids. Keep them undereducated, overworked, and underpaid, hoping all they want to do is work, eat, and get laid, making babies and decisions that they know they can't afford. But they keep popping them out, because guess what? We're broken, we're bored, right? They don't see the consequences of our actions, elements of their education, it always seems to be lacking. They're just following the steps of mom and dad, because thinking back, they don't think it was ever really all that bad, right? So what, sometimes I went to bed hungry? That was just a game, right, man? That was real funny. No, not at all, that was never cool. Just getting evicted and always like changing schools. Cause for mom and dad, jobs were hard to come by. Modern day nomads, they call themselves sometimes cause the truth was way too hard to dish out. How do you tell your kids what your tears are all about? That Santa doesn't really get lost cause there's no presents. Cause guess what, we're broke. And maybe we shouldn't waste so much money on what we smoke. We don't move because we need a change of pace. We move because the bill collector is harassing us every single day. How do you look at your kids and you say any of that you don't? You smile and you put on a good act. So when you can't take it no more and you finally jump off of that bridge because there's nowhere else to run and you can no longer afford to live, everyone you ever knew will be surprised. Except guess what? The bill collector. Because guess what? They're still calling even after you die. The same people who have been making money off of our pain are counting on your kids just to be the same. Straight suckers. Always owing, always being broke, owing money, never knowing what they're gonna feed kids who are all so, so doggone hungry. The same kids who will never understand why you did what you did till they're standing on the edge of that very same bridge. Wow.